Hi, my name is Paul Rudwick. Today, I'm going to talk to you about pipe network editing with profile views. Now, pipe networks are really powerful tools to use as stormwater engineers, and profile views are ways in which we can edit them really quickly and view them really efficiently. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. How can we edit and view our pipe networks in a fast and effective? So first of all, what is a profile view? Well, this thing on the bottom is a profile view. It's a way to view surface data. I have my existing surface, I have my proposed surface, and I have pipe network. I have crossing pipes all along this different alignment. So let's look at this profile view. What is it actually telling me? Well, it's telling me the elevation of these pipes. Oh, it looks like I actually have a crossing right here. Well, that's kind of confusing. Let's look at that. So one quick way that I can actually figure out where that pipe is, if I click on the pipe, right, click on my other view, and click on zoom to part and plan, it will zoom right to that part. So that's pipe 58. If I clicked on this pipe, I hover, pipe 58. Now, it doesn't actually look like there's a crossing. It looks like there is a crossing here, though, which is where my alignment is. So this is actually why I'm doing this exercise. My alignment is in the middle of the road, but my pipe is over here. What I really want to have is a profile view so that I can check for crossings and I can move my pipes up and down if I need to. So if I needed to move this pipe up and down, I could click on these and slide it up or down really quickly. That's much easier than clicking on the pipe, then clicking on the start and invert elevation, trying to do it that way. So how do I actually go about doing that? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an alignment. I actually have two pipe networks that I want to do this for. Start with this big one right here, which is a big 30 inch water line. Actually, it looks like I have an alignment in here already for this. It might just need to be edited slightly. There we go. So it looks like I'm actually looking at the wrong pipe view, pipe network. Let's look at the, the correct one. This is the one that I believe I want to look at. So let's find that pipe 58 again. There's my 556. This must be 58 right here. There it is. And you can see that there's no crossings. How about this pipe network right here, which I actually don't have an alignment for. Let's go through and draw an alignment for that one specific. So to do that, sometimes I find it a little bit easier to actually just shrink that window because it's too big. I can even just change it to one viewport if I would like. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make sure I'm on a layer that I like, PR work. I'm going to draw a polyline right along this network. It should be parallel to my alignment, so I should be able to just pull it straight through all the way to this line. And I'm going to tie in right here. Now I'm going to isolate these layers just to make sure it looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. Make sure you're going to make this a little bit fatter so I can make sure it is lining up. I think I'm pretty good with that. All right, I am undoing currently. I can hit layer P. It goes back to the previous layer state. So I'm now going to select this line, and I'm going to create alignment from objects. And I guess I have to click on the line one more time. Now it's asking me for a direction of the alignment. Now one of my slight annoying things about this, you have to find where the arrow actually is showing, and I can't actually find it. I'm just going to hit enter. I can reverse it if I need to. I'm going to call this eight eight inch water, which is the size of that water line. I'm not going to erase my existing entities. Now, sometimes this makes sense to do, but I'm not going to do it right now. Now I have an alignment, and I'm isolating that alignment. Now I'm ready to go in and create a surface profile. Now, a surface profile is essentially telling me to pull the surface data anywhere that my alignment is moving or is running. So I'm going to come in here, go to Profile, Create Surface Pro Profile. I'm going to make sure that my 8-inch water is selected, and it's goes to the top of the list right now because it's in alphabetical order. I'm going to add in my existing, and I'm going to add in my final merge surface. Make sure my final merge has my design prof design style selected. I'm going to go straight to draw and profile view. And I can go through all these different different options, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a profile view. I'm going to create it right over here, 8-inch profile. So now you can see I have my 8-inch waterline uh, profile with my existing and my proposed surface. Now I'd really like to go in and add all of my pipes, my water pipes onto this line. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to select all of them. And one thing I'm gonna run into as an issue is, is also gonna add all the lines from this 30 inch water line, which I don't wanna add 
onto my alignment. So there's two different ways I can get around that. One, I can isolate this layer and then select, pretty simply, click and just add them on, which I'm going to show you how to do. Okay, 34, and now I'm going to actually turn on those profile view layers by coming into profile, PWG, and I somehow lost all that I had selected, so I'm going to have to do that again. I'm going to right click, and I am going to, oh, what do you know? I can't actually add them all. Let me show you another way to do this. I'm going to go into my tool space. I'm going to go into my pipe networks, under networks, under proposed water. I'm going to go to pipes. I'm going to right click on here. I'm actually going to open up the inner diameter column. You can see I have some 30 inch pipe and I have some much smaller pipe as well. Now I want to highlight all the ones that are 8 inch. I think this is going to be, looks like I've drawn them in as 2 inch. I'm going to go in here, highlight all of these. I'm going to select. I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw parts in profile view. And I'm going to click on my 8 inch water and draw all of them in. And you might actually not see them, but they are in there. And when I fix my layer previous a few times, I bring them in. So there we go. Now next what I want to do is I want to add in all of my crossing pipes. So I'm going to right click on my profile view, come into profile view properties, I'm going to go pipe networks. At the bottom you may have not noticed this little couple check boxes because there are a lot of pipes I could add onto this. Do just ones that are shown already, which be, would be all of those uh, two inch pipes I have. Or I could do show only crossing pipes. And this is actually a really handy tool. So this is going to pull in, allow me to select just the pipes that are crossing that profile. Um, so I'm not gonna wanna do proposed water. Actually, I do wanna do this, this one right here. This is that 30 inch. That's going to be crossing. I can actually go up to crossing pipe and change the style. And changing the style is actually really important to making this look the way uh, you want it to look. First, turn them on, and then I'm going to override the style with my crossing pipe. I wish I could select all of these, but it doesn't actually let you select every single one. Actually, you know what? I think I can do every single one in this. Network, change them all to crossing pipe. And then I'm going to go back. And on these different four, I'm going to uncheck crossing pipe. So this should actually work pretty well. I'm going to hit apply and OK. And there we go. Now I have all of the different crossing pipes. And I can see the ones that are going to be an issue. Like, for example, right here. This is a proposed storm line that I'm going to conflict with. This is another storm line I'm going to conflict with. Um, so if I want to adjust for this, I can simply highlight these pipes and bring come down. I'll highlight both these pipes, and I'll bring them lower. I can basically do that anywhere I have a conflict. Alternatively, I could come in and change the other pipe networks. Um, but if I know that I want to just move my water line, this is the way. All right, I'm going to show you a couple tricks in my bonus round here. A couple shortcuts. First, I already showed you this one. Let's see if you were paying attention. If I have my, go to my view, I have my viewport set for two horizontal lines. One really cool thing that you can do, say for example, I'm trying to edit a pipe, I'm trying to fix this one, I kind of can't figure out exactly where this one is. If I click on it, and then I click in my other view, and then right click, Zoom to part and plan, it'll zoom right to that plan, right to that point. So it's a really helpful tool. Rotating plan view. This is actually something that you might consider doing on a project that I have like this. This is a linear road project, but it's going north and south. It might be really helpful to be able to view this north and south. So the way you do that, you type in UCS, and I'm going to type in object. I already have an object that I know is parallel. And now I've changed my cursor. I don't want you to notice that it kind of turned a little bit. Now I'm going to go to plan, type plan, and I'm going to click current UCS. And now I've turned just this viewport. Now I can view it kind of horizontally. Now I recommend doing this based on object. You know, if you type, 
if you remember when you typed in UCS, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. I have a most success with this one. If I want to go back, I simply hit UCS and go to world. And I type in plan, and I usually just type in W for world. And I'll switch back. So cool thing you can do. Now, the last thing you might be considering doing, now this really applies to any project, including involving civil 3D. But uh, this is a good one uh, for you to do as well. I would get really good at looking at your tool space. As I showed you before, sometimes it can be really helpful to be able to select things from your tool space. So if I, for example, wanted to find that alignment, say the layer is turned off, I couldn't figure out where it was, I wanted to select it, couldn't find it, or even the profile view, I could go into my alignments, under my miscellaneous alignments, here's my eight inch water. And within that is actually the profile, those two profiles that I made, and also the profile view. So if I select this or zoom to it, I can find it just like that. So you can see these are linked to this alignment. Do the same thing with pipe networks. You know, if I have a pipe that I can't quite find, I know, you know, I know I'm on here, I know it's called, if I click and hover, I know it's pipe 286. I can't quite find it. I can't quite remember that trick where I zoomed apart or I select it and the other thing, if I go in here and if I come in here and I actually look for that specific pipe by name, here's the name of the pipe. I can actually come down to pipe 286 and I can right click on it, I can zoom to it, I can select it, I can pan to it. There's a lot of different options that I have. All right, that concludes my video. I hope you found some really uh, cool stuff out of this. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Hope you have a great day. I will talk to you another day. Adios.